All right, let's take a trip back 66 million years to a seemingly ordinary morning. Everything is normal. Lush forests filled with conifers and pine trees and beautiful flowers blooming where sunlight filters through. Dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes dominating the landscape. Ankylosaurs and hadrosaurs grazing on plants and flowers. Smaller dinosaurs scurrying through the undergrowth, searching for food. And our T-Rex roaring through the forest, hunting for its morning meal. Everything is proceeding as usual, then suddenly, something unimaginable happens. A blinding flash of light, followed by a deafening roar. Every creature is thrown into chaos. The once blue sky turns blood red in an instant. And then, this is what it looked like. A raging fire spreading across the vast forests, destroying everything in its path. This devastation wipes out every living creature in the vicinity. Not even the mighty T-Rex can escape this destruction. Suddenly it starts to rain, but not the kind you're thinking of. It's a rain of molten glass. This annihilates the remaining survivors. Within two hours, predators and prey alike are wiped out by the millions. A few dinosaurs manage to survive this apocalypse for a while, but eventually they too vanish. However, there was one special creature that witnessed this destruction and managed to endure to this day. Today, we're going to discuss a massive enigma that has puzzled even archaeologists. How did the crocodile survive this catastrophe? We all know the story of the giant asteroid that struck the Yucatan Peninsula 66 million years ago. This disaster caused widespread destruction of life on Earth. Within the next 10 million years, the dinosaurs that survived were completely wiped out. Yet crocodiles survived all the way to the Cenozoic era. The puzzling thing is that both dinosaurs and crocodiles evolved from archosaurs, the dominant creatures of the late Permian and early Triassic periods. So why did nature give crocodiles a chance? You might think, what about us? We survived too. Yes, our ancestors were small, hiding in tree hollows, and their fur protected them from the harmful effects of the fire. They also needed very little food, allowing them to survive within the devastation. Ancient bird ancestors also evolved in remote areas and took to the skies, but crocodiles didn't. They lived in the open, just like dinosaurs. They weren't small either. Many large crocodile species lived in the past, like Dinosuchus, a massive crocodile weighing around five tons. There were many others like it. Their lifestyle wasn't much different from dinosaurs. They lived in our forests and ecosystems. So how did crocodiles survive to this day, unchanged? There are several possible reasons. The answer lies in their biological and physical characteristics. Crocodiles are known for their ability to adapt to any environment. They live in cold regions, hot regions, tropical regions, and even salt water. This adaptability gave them a better chance of survival than dinosaurs. Dinosaurs came in various sizes, from small theropods to massive sauropods with long necks and legs, and tiny feathered dinosaurs. Our T-Rex shook the entire forest. But crocodiles remained unchanged for millions of years, about 200 million years to be precise. However, this crocodile is quite different from our modern crocodiles. This is Rapotosuchus. You can see from its skeleton that it walked on two legs like a dinosaur, but it was a crocodile relative. It mostly lived in forests. Many animals died in the disaster, but crocodiles had a significant advantage. They could live both in water and on land. Dinosaurs, on the other hand, mostly lived on land. In a world changed by the disaster, crocodiles could move around. Their flat body structure might have also been an advantage. They could have survived by hiding in water during the disaster and adapting to the increased temperatures. They might have also hidden in mud. Another advantage was their ability to go long periods without food. A crocodile can survive for months without food, and some large crocodiles can even survive for a year. This is because their metabolism is very slow. They are cold-blooded animals. Unlike dinosaurs, which were warm-blooded and needed a lot of food and had a high metabolism, Crocodiles only expend energy when hunting. Otherwise, they remain still. This was also an advantage in a food-scarce world, allowing them to survive on a large kill for a long time. 
Herbivorous dinosaurs died without plants, and carnivorous dinosaurs died without meat. But crocodiles hid underwater, waiting for their chance. Then, in the New World, they spread to all ecosystems, hunting without predators. The asteroid impact mainly affected the oceans and land. Even mosasaurs, giant predators, went extinct. But freshwater systems weren't greatly affected. And since crocodiles were already widespread, this ensured their survival. So crocodiles in unaffected areas probably survived safely. We shouldn't forget that many other animals survived by chance, not just crocodiles. However, even animals more adaptable than crocodiles went extinct. So luck might have played a role in the crocodile's survival. Crocodiles are also the only reptiles that care for their young, which could have helped them survive. Extinction is a complex matter. Crocodiles could also go extinct in the future because the world is unpredictable. Crocodiles were among the first animals to evolve and they adapted quickly to changing environments. Their unchanged body for millions of years has been a significant advantage as it's a very strong body that can withstand any condition. Today, there are 25 crocodile species in the world. There were more in the past, but most have gone extinct. There were herbivorous crocodiles, fully aquatic crocodiles, and even giant crocodiles that ate dinosaurs. Most of them didn't have the luck to see our world. Many creatures evolved, lived, and went extinct on our planet. But crocodiles took their time. The ancient world was very different from today. Now all those memories are hidden beneath the ground. Before the disaster, there must have been a beautiful sunset, but they didn't know it was their last sunset on Earth. Earth is a very different place now. Instead of dinosaurs, weak in body but strong in mind, bipedal creatures rule the planet. Their time will also end someday, but crocodiles will still be here because they are incredibly resilient. And with that, we come to the end of our video. You must have thoughts about the video? Please share them in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be among the first to see my videos. With that reminder, I'll take my leave. Have a wonderful day.